Michael Keaton has been having something of a renaissance lately, resurrecting fan-favorite roles like Beetlejuice and Batman, but Goodrich is here to remind audiences that he has just as much to offer in an original story as in a sequel or reboot. The new movie is the sophomore effort from writer-director Hallie Mayer Shire, who made her feature film debut directing Reese Witherspoon in 2017's Home Again. Goodrich is yet another tale of family and friendship, this time centered on a man whose wife checks herself into rehab and leaves him alone to take care of their nine-year-old twins. Keaton's protagonist, Andy Goodrich, is an art dealer who was more focused on career than family throughout his first marriage and must now deal with some of those consequences. In order to get some advice on raising his youngest children, he enlists the help of Grace, that 70s show star Mila Kunis, the eldest daughter from his first marriage. Grace has never had the chance to see Andy as a present father, but by helping him become one, she can also repair the wounds of their relationship before her own first child is born. Screen Rant interviewed Michael Keaton and Mila Kunis about the evolution of their characters in Goodrich, their natural family chemistry on set, and how the movie allowed Keaton to press Andy McDowell's buttons once again a few decades after multiplicity. Mila Kunis breaks down the complicated father-daughter dynamic in Goodrich. It's the most fun you can have acting, and I love it. Mila Kunis, what a great question. I guess I would have to say it comes to a place of acceptance. I think, oftentimes, we hold people in our minds and in our memories for who they used to be instead of allowing people to evolve and become who they are today. I feel like her evolution is accepting her dad for who he is, not holding the mistakes that he made in the past, against him, and almost moving forward and accepting him for the person that he's becoming and evolving. Loving him for that instead of having any sort of resentment towards the person that he used to be Michael Keaton, well, it was simply well written. I hadn't done anything like this in a while, and it was a good script. Here's a big thing, it was going to be shot in Los Angeles, and Los Angeles plays a part in this movie, which I like. Most people care about things, like, family. It's primal, man. It's clans, and people looking out for one another or not. But it wasn't a big decision, she and I had a meeting or two, and I knew she was talented and smart, so I said, sure, I'd love to do it. Mila Kunis, not to echo what Michael said, but the script was just really well written. I will say, I think the character was very much on the page, and it was a matter of having fun with Michael in the scenes. For me personally, it's so much more about the relationship that two people going into this have clearly had for 30 years, 30 plus years, and that's aging myself down. I just wanted to make sure that was front forward, relationship above all else, and then everything else was on paper. It's easy to really play off him because Michael is, spoiler alert, really funny and really fun to act with. There are oftentimes actors that are very specific with their acting and how they do it. It's just how they do it, and it's very much how it's going to be done in that rhythm and whatever. But in a beautiful way, Michael's, all over the place. You never know what you're going to get. It's the most fun you can have acting, and I love it. It's where I feel like I thrive the most, in this idea of spontaneity and of like, what's next? Where are we going? Again, grace was on paper, but everything else I think was just the day of.